What's up guys, if you're watching this, you're probably surrounded by a lush greenery of amazing indoor plants. These plants not only fill space, they create these spaces that are like living art galleries. But I must say, have you ever stopped to see them? I mean, like really see them. Because if you look close enough, there is a whole new world waiting for you to discover. Today, I'm gonna invite you to see a new way of seeing. Look, forget endless debates about which plants that you definitely need in your home and which ones are trending on social media. I think we should take a step back and really appreciate our plants as living sculptures. Stick around and I promise you, you'll leave this video with a newfound appreciation for your lovely plant friends. All right, what am I actually saying? Today, we're gonna look at the architecture of plants, specifically the philodendron bilietiae. We're gonna look at this plant through a unique lens and discover its hidden magical details. Let's get it. And this is the beauty that we will be talking about today. So through this lens, we're gonna break down the plant in three different ways. We're gonna look at its form, its basic structure, its line, the sort of framing of the structure, and <laughs> the best part of all the foliage. So that's form, line, and foliage. And that is the lens that we're gonna use to identify the beauty in this plant. See, the philodendron bilietier is a climbing form and has a vine-like growth pattern featuring aerial roots. It has an alternate leaf arrangement, which basically means the leaves arise singly along the stem in an alternating pattern. Although alternate might suggest a straight line, the leaves actually grow in more of a complex structure with a sort of staggered pattern around the main stem. And this space actually responds to touch using a system called positive tigmatropism meaning it basically responds to touch and seeks support. And with this base, you can see that the nodes are very tightly packed. Now, from this base, the lines begin to develop. If we extend from the base, visually we get taken through to the blade of the leaf. This section, the leaf stalk, is called a petiole. This philodendron has really long petioles with a cylindrical cross section, known as a terete cross section. The most striking part of this plant and its inner lines is the beautiful orangey yellow that it boasts. This beautiful orangey yellow features a subtle gradient that you can sort of see here. From a brighter yellow at the base to a deeper orange near the leaf blades. This strong color connects the leaf blade, drawing the eye from the base to the leaf blade and transitions visually into the leaf's midrib or the leaf's central vein. This venation is known as pinnate, where the primary vein runs down the center with secondary veins branching off to the edges. And the midrib's color is a sort of pale green that creates a good contrast away from the deep green of the foliage. The elements that make up the frame of the plant support the foliage, which is of course the main attraction. The leaf margins have a distinctive red hue and express entire margins, meaning that the edge of the leaf is smooth and it lacks any teeth or lobes. As the leaf matures, it begins to develop a fascinating wave or rigid texture texture against the leaf margin. This is known as undulate, an undulating texture, adding a bit of visual complexity and a little bit of wonder. The leaf shape is a really prominent feature and we call the shape of this kind of leaf an elongated chordate form. Now chordate basically means heart shaped. This shape really showcases the plant's deep emerald green with a sort of glossy smooth surface. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this little journey that we went through, looking at plants in a little bit of a different light. And I hope you did learn something. And if you did, subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one.